It's a high-stake contest, a race for leadership positions in the Senate. Senators Ahmed Lawan and Aline Dume have publicly thrown their hats into the ring for the position of Senate President. The ruling APC appears to be backing Senator Ahmed Lawan, but Senator Ndume is not backing down and insists he's still in the running for Senate President. I wrote to the party that I, in, I, I intend to contest for that position. But it seems that there is support for a third candidate for Senate President. A group on Thursday is staging a solidarity march to the National Assembly, calling on Senator Dandruma Guji to run for Senate President. We are here for solidarity for Dandruma Guji and those for the nine Senate President National, National Assembly of Nigeria. But Senator Goje from the ruling APC, representing Gombe State, has not publicly announced his intention to contest for the position of Senate President. Like building of hospitals. And... While focus has been on the position of Senate President, a federal lawmaker, Senator Kabirugaya, is also signifying his intention to contest this time for the position of Deputy Senate President. I think in the northwest of, the, of Nigeria, I'm the most ranking senator. So therefore, I wish to, in the name of Allah, I wish to clear, uh, declare that I officially want to announce to you that I would like to run for the position of Deputy Senate President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria by God's grace. Although Senator Gaia explains that the APC has not publicly endorsed any senator for the position of Deputy Senate President, a federal lawmaker is advising legislators in the upcoming Knife Assembly to respect the positions of their various political parties on the choice of the leadership of the National Assembly. I'm therefore using this medium to call for caution so that members of the National Assembly elect must respect the position of the various political parties. Because in a partisan democracy, the party is always supreme. The Ninth National Assembly is set to take off in June this year. And in the next two months, there will be high-level politicking, lobbying and horse trading over the leadership positions in the Senate and House of Representatives. Linda Kibi, Channels Television News.